King Charles II rides on horseback in first official birthday parade. King Charles II revived a royal tradition by riding on horseback in the first trooping the color of his reign, which marks the British sovereign as official birthday. The traditional military spectacle on Saturday is a parade like no other with all the pomp and pageantry expected of royal occasions, and draws massive crowds too. Central London Charles' actual birthday is in November and is typically celebrated privately. He joined 1,500 soldiers, 300 horses and hundreds of musicians as they filed the short distance from Buckingham Palace to horse goods parade in St. James S. Park for the ceremony watched by members of the royal family. It was a sight not seen for nearly chalice years. The lowest time airy evening monarch rode in. The procession was Queen Elizabeth I. I. Uniso Chiasi, King Charles donned a Welsh god uniform, with Lee emblem on the collar and green and white plum on his bare skin, for the occasion. He was followed on horseback by several royal colonels including Prince William, also wearing a uniform of the Welsh god, the regiment he inherited from his father in December. He rode alongside Princess and Gold. Stick in waiting and Cardinal of the Blues and Royals, and Prince Edward, who is Cardinal of the London Guards. Behind him was a horse drawn carriage carrying the Queen, Catherine, Princess of Wales, and the crowd pleasing trio of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The royal party was accompanied by a sovereign mounted escort of soldiers from the household cavalry as life guards. And Blues and Royals. Kate appeared to nod to her ceremonial role as Cardinal of the Irish God through her choice of outfit, a resplendent green ensemble. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla was dressed in honor of the Grenadier Goods, the regiment she was named Cardinal of Engineery, according to the palace. She wore a red silk coat dress with the rank insignia of a full Cardinal on the epaulets. The Dress incorporates key details from the uniform including the grenade fired proper embroidered in gold bullion on the collar and the gold bullion backslashes, it said. The Queen Consort completed the look with a hat while under Milano Philip Triacy which is a nod to the bare skin with a grenade exploding up to it, at the plume, well wishers dressed in fascinators and draped in union. Flags had gathered early to claim prime positions along the mile outside the royal residence in the horse ahead of the parade. By the time the ceremonial spectacle began, thousands were waiting in the summer sunshine. A cascade of enthusiastic cheering could be heard as the royals processed down the mile for the short journey to the parade ground. Many held their cell phones aloft to capture the moment family members passed by. Bidisha Mamada, broadcaster and royal watcher, told CNN there was a real sense of celebration. The coronation was very serious. There was a lot of medieval pageantry. This is much more military focused. This is so much more about connecting King Charles with his own history in the Marines, the rough that he has a strong connection to the military, she said. The Monarch is head of Britain's armed forces and would traditionally lead an army into war. During the ceremony at Horse Goods, the monarch took the salute as Carl in chief of the household division as seven regiments as the national anthem played. He was then given each once to review and approve his army. Queen Camilla joined her husband to watch the Perla Battalion Welsh Goods troop their colour. O regimental flag in front of hundreds of guardsmen and officers. The regiment carried out intricate battlefield drill manoeuvres to music, with Kensington Palace previously describing this year's musical program as having a distinctly Welsh theme, with new compositions from the band specially for the occasion. After the parade, the royal party returned to Buckingham Palace along the same route. There they made their balcony appearance to watch an extended military flippers and greet a sea of royal supporters. A similar display had to be scaled back after the king's coronation last month because of poor weather. The king was joined on the balcony by working members of the royal family and their children. William and Kate's children clearly enjoyed the aerial display, pointing up as the aircraft blazed overhead. Around sat the aircraft from the Royal Navy, 
British Army and Royal Air Force took to the skies from 15 locations around the UK before converging to fly across the British capital, according to the Minister of Defence. The impressive aerial presentation included aircraft from the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, the Sea Exotis Hercules on its final ceremonial flight, Typhoon. Fighter jets and culminated with a display from the famous Rafred Rose. We are very proud to be able to showcase our capabilities to our Commander-in-Chief on this historic occasion for His Majesty the King, Chief of the Air Staff, their Chief Marshal Richard Knighton said ahead of the event. We have planned a fitting and appropriate tribute for Rahman Ark that should be a true spectacle. For the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth, as smoke plumes of red, white and blue trial from aerobatic team as planes, the crowd broke out into cheers and applause before a final rendition of God Save the King. There was also a Thales salute in nearby Green Park from the King's group, with a second salute of Bassett guns fired at the Tower of London by the Honorable Artillery Company, the City of London.